Witchers and Witcher friends. Welcome to the Witcher Lorecast. This is your host, Tom, or Robots. I'm here with Toasty, my always mean, never nice friend, fellow companion. This, this is just factual information. I can yeah. argue this. This is why you need to be here during the pre-show, so you can find out why we're thinking Toasty is so mean. I think you scared Rob away. Rob the Princess popped in, said a thing. Toasty said a mean thing to Rob the Princess, and now Rob the Princess isn't responding anymore. But... That's not what this episode's about. This episode is our end of November patron chat, and we have some of our tier four or higher patrons with us today to discuss a very important topic. And unfortunately, Genesis can't make it. She was the one who offered up this topic, and so now we are discussing it. So Genesis, if you want to chime in later and let, let me know what you think about this, feel free. So friends, what is the topic? Well, here in the United States... We just celebrated Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, also sometimes referred to Turkey Day because we eat too much of that big old gobbly bird. So the question was, if we lived in the continent and we celebrated a similar kind of autumn feast and we decided to serve monster, which monster would be the most delicious? And in order to figure this out, our patrons will be suggesting a monster and then we will be voting and, and ranking on these monsters in order in order to see which one actually makes it to the top and to join me and toasty today we have ben of tamaria ben welcome back how's it going it is going good good man i hear you've been working a lot yeah too much slaying, t- slaying a bunch of Lovely. monsters yeah you know monsters are busier during the holidays that's just how it they goes. are yeah and then we have crow joining us again crow welcome hey How's it going? Good, good. And then we also have Harley, first time joining us. Harley, welcome to the show. Hello. How are things with you? Great, good, good. fine. Did you survive? You survived the the Turkey Day extravaganza. Yes, did you absolutely. Eat, did you? Lots of food. Awesome. Yeah, ate too much, just like everybody always seems yep. to. Awesome, awesome. Well, guys, we have a bunch of monsters. We've been pulling up the the Witcher bestiary, looking at the list of all the monsters, asking questions during the pre-show about things like, can you eat a ghost? Can you eat the ashes the ghost leaves behind? How does that work? So I'm interested to see. We're going to let our patrons start. And then, Toasty, you should have one in mind, too. And I'll have one in mind. We'll have five. And then we're going to rank all five of these monsters in order for each of us. And we're going to see which one floats to the top. So who wants to go first? Should we let Harley go first since Harley's our first time new guest? Harley, are you ready? Do you want to go? Yeah, I'll go. Um, So I was kind of thinking... um, like the basilisks or like you said the harpies just kind of like chicken legs just giant giant chicken, chicken legs. legs all right so which one are you going to go with the basilisk uh, the basilisk the basilisk okay so we've got basilisk we just recently talked about basilisk too so basilisk and so what do you think the flavor flavor that's the hard word flavor is not how you say that flavor profile would be for a basilisk because it's kind of bird like but it's kind of lizard like it's kind of this weird combination of things what do you think well just everything tastes like chicken so it's fine (laughs) so you're thinking like just really big meaty chicken yeah pretty much all right and what what would you serve it with like if you were to give it some like garnishing or prepare it is there a certain way you'd prepare it or things you'd serve on the side with it Oh gosh! Um, like it, it, this is your chance to spice up the meal and be like, I know. Here's here with the other stuff I'd add. I don't know. And it I can be like, in universe if you want. It can be in the real world. You can be like, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna add a little bit of these kinds of seasoning because I like that on my chicken. Or it could be like, mm, you know, it'd go really well with it. Is the ashes of whatever. <laughs> no, I feel like it would be really funny if it ends up like. Like in, it's Christmas time, so it's in my head. Like in Whoville, where it's just like all these beasts on the table, but with like mixed with stuff you already eat. So it's just like, it's there. So you get like your mashed potatoes and stuff, and then who knows? You may have ghost ashes sprinkled on top of it or something. Right, because like, who knows what those fine. taste like? Maybe they're a little <laughs> garlicky. We don't know. Yeah, so would you... would you have like a really big feast and have an entire basilisk on the table all cooked? Like... Like a stuffed pig with like an apple I feel in its like you mouth. You would have too. to like the feast at the great hall with like the lord or king or whatever it is. Like it's just the centerpiece. Like instead of a roast pig, you got a roast basilisk. 
Basil. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I guess you need a really big table to hold up that thing because it's probably be pretty heavy. <laughs> That's okay. That sounds delicious. What do you guys think about basilisk? Any thoughts on this one? Yeah, it keeps uh, kind of the tradition of a, like a bird, I guess. So true. Be tasty. True. Get some chicken and like some noon wraith gravy or something. <laughs> oh God, it's just Plus, like... so, since it's like part reptile you have that that southern like alligator crocodile that's what i was about to say style. Like, it, like yeah like eating like like alligator snake or something like like fried basilisk bites <laughs> oh you could fry it up that's true that's true i feel like you just like open like like a, a chicken chain restaurant but instead of chicken you serve basilisk mm-hmm. but with all the other stuff Basilisk like KFC, but, but basilisk. Kentucky Fried Basilisk KFB. <laughs> no, it can't be Kentucky. Wait, wait, what's the location in in the continent that starts with a K? Kidewin. Kidewin Fried Basilisk K KFB. There you Man. go. You got a thing. You got a chain. I think it works. It's a good way it's... to get out of witchering. Make your own chain restaurants. There you go. There you you go. still have to witch it, though, because you'd have to go well, kill you the Well, you do basilisk. have to find them. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get definitely. paid. That's how they pay them all. That's fine. That's, that's fair. That's it's fair. like the side job of like one of the lesser known witchers. It's like, yeah, I take the monsters and then I cook them. And then I take them to my restaurant. Awesome. All right. Well, that sounds that sounds like a good start. Basilisk. Who would like to, to go second? Who wants to follow this one up? No, I can. All right. Um, ben? I, I'm going with griffins. Ooh, griffins. Okay. So half of it is bird. Uh-huh. The other half is game. It's, yeah, it's kind of like surf and turf, but not ocean. Exactly. <laughs> All in one creature. <laughs> It's, it's redneck have, surf and turf is what it is, really. Yeah. Well, it's it's like part of it is like lion or something like a lion, right? Like mm-hmm. part of it is like eagle. So you have the the game part, which is like the back half, and the front mm-hmm. half is bird like. So you have the like the poultry side. Yeah. So you get two meats in one. Do you think mm-hmm. there's actually two meats in the one creature, or do you think it all it tastes like a I blend of both? I mean, well, I guess maybe. you have like white and dark meat in like a turkey, right? And they taste different. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's definitely like because like it would it would be poultry up front, but like the game would be red meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. Poultry in the front, red meat in the back. It's like the animal version of a mullet. I knew you were gonna go there. I yeah. didn't want you to. Yeah, it was right. It was sitting right there. Uh, oh, all right, Ben. God. What else would you add to this to sweeten this up Ooh, a little bit? How would you prepare um, it? Would you put it side by side on the plate? Would you put something in between it? Like you are, you are a master chef. You have to. You're going in front of a mirror. <laughs> you got to impress him um, with your Griffin good, meal. Good question. Um, I don't know. I think I might keep it together just like as a th- aesthetic wise, but yeah, I don't know. It's the, that one's tough. I mean, since it is two types, like if we're talking two types of meat, right. Would you put something else on the plate? Would you, you like would have to, um, I mean, you would, I would have like, cook, cause I somewhat cooks in real life. So, I mean, working with those two types of meats you have to prepare them to, uh completely separately because they if you mix them they're nine times in ten it's not going to end out well right especially right. with gamey gamey meat uh i mean i would probably separate them and like season them differently depending on what style you would want to go for mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. are you thinking like potatoes and like other stuff uh, with it or yeah potatoes and then um probably some herbs because there's a bunch of herbs in the witcher universe yeah rob some robin chat says serve it like a full roasted pig <laughs> and we did kind of talk about that with the with the basilisk just like a big old roasted creature just up there on the on the on the table in front of everybody so that's, that's that, that you need an Ooh, even bigger table for that i do like mm. this in chat grill the game and poultry make griffin fajitas with spices peppers and veggies Ooh, 
Ooh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Griffin okay. fajitas. So, you know, yeah, have all a right. good time. All right. So, all right. Sounds like a good, a good argument for, for a Griffin. Are we ready to move on? Crow, are you ready? I think I finally got it down. Yeah. Okay. What, what are you serving up? All right. So <clears throat> I'm thinking more of like for my continental Thanksgiving, it's going to be more of like a Midwestern Southern type style for the dish. We're going to negate all the turkey and the bird stuff. We are going to be having <clears throat> uh, boiled tiki more because I feel like they'd kind of taste like crawdads since they're more of like a swampish but still like water type creature. Okay. Um, going to go ahead and have it with a side of drowner liver, uh, which is <laughs> okay. very nutritious. And with, uh, what was it? Oh, slow roasted siren tail. Wow. Wow. Okay. So you've got, you've got like a whole smorgasbord here, but the Kikimura is the primary meat. The main piece. That's yes. the one we'll be voting on. But this is the way you're going to prepare it with some of these other things, which I very much appreciate. There's there's some cool stuff. You know, I don't think I've ever eaten liver. I would. Do you think this kind of liver would taste like regular like beef liver or? I feel like it would taste a little bit like fishy. A little like fishier, yeah. Because the Kikimura yeah. definitely is. Uh, this is the first one we have that has any sort of like fishy quality to it. How fishy do you think this is? Or, like, what what would be like a real world analog? Well, like for the Kikimura, I think of like kind of like crawdads. Okay, you guys have ever had those? So we're going like, crawdads. We're not going like shrimp or or crab. We're going like nah. Crawdad. If they were like, I mean, if it's freshwater Kikimura. Or like saltwater kikimora, more like in bigger bodies of water. I feel like it might have more of a crab taste. Mm-hmm. Um, but since like they mostly dwell like around swamps and stuff like that, <clears throat> I feel like they'd be more like crawdads. All right, so we're going crawdad flavored kikimora with all this other stuff added on. What do you guys think about this one, Toasty? Would you eat this? I think he stole my siren tail idea, so I'm upset. <laughs> oh, but you can make that the the main offer, the no, main no, thing no, that no, we no, vote no, on. No, 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 I can't do that. All right. I can't do All that. Right. It's not allowed. <clears throat> it's not allowed. So what do you think, Ben? I mean it I mean it's food. <laughs> and for any traveling witcher, food is essential. <laughs> okay all right as long as, as, as long it tastes as well it. and goes down well i'm all okay. kid all right all right would you crow would you boil this how do you prepare it oh you're muted still yeah come on come on back bro oh, there, there we are. are sorry no it, problem stick it for me uh so yeah what you do is you like completely pull the head off because nobody wants to look at that yeah nobody wants to look and at that head since they're kind of big you gotta uh segment out the legs and then kind of like cook and pasta, you just throw them all in a pot of boiling water, uh-huh. like let them simmer for a bit, and then pop them out, get your silver sword, and start cracking. So all the good meat is in the legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. I could. Now, I, I don't know that I want to eat the other parts of it, Ben. Question. Is it in a pot or is it in like a pool? Because these things are massive. Uh, it depends on the catch. It might just be like a really big cauldron <laughs> right. in your backyard, right? Like... I just picked up a kiddie pool. Yeah. A big old kiddie pool. To melt. <laughs> it would totally melt. Yeah. But like a big cast iron cauldron in your backyard. And, and then you could cook all sorts of monsters in there. Just get a big one. That's that's how I they do it at KF. You could borrow that one from the trolls e? that were trying to cook that one. Oh, guy alive. yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I bet the trolls have all sorts of recipes for this kind of stuff. That would totally make sense. Harley, do you have any thoughts on the Kikimura? No, I I agree with what they were saying. That sounds like the best way to do it. Okay. Are you into seafood? Yes. All right. So this is there's potential with this one, too. All right. Okay. All right. Well, here, let's move on to Toasty. Toasty? Crow kind of stole your thunder, but have you changed it up? It's fine. It's fine. But you know what? I have my I just have my joke answer. Just because, you know, I'm looking at the bestiary and they're in the bestiary. But I mean, I think the obvious like good choice here is the three little pigs. I was going to pick the three little pigs. Because <laughs> they're, they're pigs. <laughs> they count as monsters. 
I like, completely uh, forgot they were in the beast. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And and like you see the great thing about them is that you can you can like if you really wanted to go wild, you got three of them, so you could just prep them in different ways. You could do your whole like full oh, spit roasted pig, and then you could like uh you know chop up the other ones and like serve them up. Get get some some, some bacon ham, and other pork in there, some so. pork, some bacon. Yeah. And, yeah. And you know what? That's a ham holiday meal already. It's already there. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. But uh, if I have to give an actual uh, monster answer, I mean that was going to uh, be my real answer. So, oh okay. Well, I've stolen your real answer, and I'm going to keep <laughs> this one then. And you're going to have to go figure <sighs> one out then. In that case, because I'm not nice. So, because <laughs> I'm not nice. Because I'm because I'm a son of a bitch. Um. All right. Exactly. So you're you're going with with three little pigs. The That's- three little pigs. Oof. All right. What do you guys think about Three Little Pigs? Is this is this too close to reality, or is this a good? I mean, it's good it's pretty straightforward. It, it's I mean, it's close to reality, but it's also you know, pigs exist on the continent. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I saw that in the best area as well, but I was like, you know what? I kind of want to go with a cool answer. So. <laughs> Guess who's not getting uh, <laughs> crow's vote? Oh man. What do you think, Harley? Three little pigs? Do you like do you like pig foods? I do, but I feel like for Tosi, it's like the safest answer possible. Like, <laughs> come on! I have to say, it was my joke answer, but <clears throat> well, he's, so, he I mean, decided like, to stick going, with it. If I if I have to get out of the safe thing, and I, I know it's not like entirely all that original, but something that does actually like kind of sound good is like the. I mean, it's like kind of like serving up goat is like a short. Uh huh. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, which so, one are you going with? Which one are you going to stick with? Oh. I mean, everyone's saying, everyone seems very disappointed that I said the three little pigs. <laughs> but then I remember that I don't care about any of your opinions. So, I'm going to stick with the three little pigs. You're sticking with three little <laughs> pigs. All right. Three little pigs it is. Um, you took mine, so now I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find another one. I'm looking through the list real quick. Uh, so I actually have a quick question. Sure. Like, so with the chort, because you said something about like it being more lambish, which yeah, it, I mean it kind of has those legs, but isn't it closer to like bovine? So wouldn't it be more like beef? It's somewhere this in the middle. Hard to tell kinda. with them. Yeah. <clears throat> it feels thicker so i don't know i mean i still i still feel like it's very goat like in appearance yeah it's like hard to yeah it's like that was well like, i i just we think don't see about, the inside of a short so we don't know what the the meat looks like unfortunately so yeah true i just think of like how they fix that one uh farming that people used to do with the witcher 3 where they just like kill the cows the sell cow. them off, and then come yeah. back and then if you um uh, you used to be able to just do it infinitely, and then they added in an update that would spawn like this super overpowered chort to just come and whoop your ass. Like if you killed him like two or three times. And they also added a um, tax collector in that update as well. If you go to Noc- uh, Novigrad or Oxenford, uh, there's a tax collector that comes and asks you questions about selling hides. It's like, are you doing tax evasion? Cool. Um, all right. You guys ready for mine? I had to pivot here right at the end. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm going different. All right. I'm going with an insectoid. We're going with sand crabs. Because some people eat insects. In fact, a lot of pl- places around the world, people eat insects and they prepare them in all sorts of delicious ways. And it's a sand crab. So it's probably meaty. Like a crab but it's from the land so you don't have any of the like fishy like quality to it it's just only the delicious stuff left lots of protein you could fry it up it, you know if the thinner parts of the carapace are on there you could maybe that's a, leaves a little bit of crunch what do you guys think sand crab mm-hmm. it's probably a lot of meat in those limbs yeah, I was gonna say probably a lot more meat than with normal crabs, so definitely good choice. It was like more like a beetle. 
It does kind of look like a beetle, and I don't think you would still, you, you probably wouldn't get the most of the meat, kind of like the, the Kikimori. You wouldn't get most of the meat out of the main body cavity so much as the limbs. Yeah, and, yeah, you definitely like be like, like cracking open crab legs. Yeah, like. but like <clears throat> giant crab legs, and, mm-hmm. but none of the fishy quality of crab legs. So if you just, it's probably more of like a, a mild kind of meat, but it comes from the desert. So you could prepare it with other things that you would get in the desert, like um corn corn near places where there are they grow corn near deserts right uh what probably not what? water because there's what no water deserts the are desert. you going to my guy I don't, like, uh, <laughs> cactus cac- cactus yeah, have cactus juice yeah cactus <laughs> juice. Drink cactus juice it'll quench you <laughs> there you go it's the quenchiest it's quench here yeah <laughs> so there, there, that's a sand crab we're gonna put on the list Although, like, cause you could, like, cause, like, you do. Some people do, like, get cactus, like, cut it up, make like nopalitos. Um, it's true. It'd be interesting. It's true. It'd be an interesting thing. Imagine like <clears throat> crab tacos, sand crab tacos. Like we go, hmm. we go, like you know, Southwest Mexican kind of stuff, and put a little bit of spice on there, a little bit of, a little bit of, you know, I don't know, something spicy. I, I don't know food very well, guys. Food's not my so thing. Spicy. <laughs> so spicy. So there you go. All right. Fair so he, here's what we're going to do. We've got basilisk, griffin, kikimora, three little pigs, and sand crab. And I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to thank our, our patrons. And you guys have this break to think it over and to rank these from first to fifth. So think of it this way. You're going to give your favorite five points. We'll do it backwards. Give your favorite five points. Give your second favorite four points, three, two, and then down one. So your least favorite. Then we're going to add, we're going to tally it up for everybody. So everybody will present. We'll tally it up let's and figure do, out which one. Let's do it the, the, the rank four and not include our own just to make it more fair. <clears throat> yeah. Don't include your own because otherwise everyone's just going to vote for your own anyway. Because that's how mm-hmm. most people are unless they just don't do that. But whatever. All right. So you got a question? Are we ranking them by like how tasty we think they're going to be or? Yes. Okay. Yes. Which do you think it would be the most like, which one are you most likely to want to eat? I think is probably the best way to do it. So and four is the best and one is the worst. Yeah. Four is the four, three, two, one, and then don't rank your own. Okay. All right. Here we go. We'll be right back. We're going to go thank our patrons. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm Mm-hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. All right, here we are in the middle of the show. This is where we get to thank our patrons for being so awesome and helping to support us. We don't have any new ones this week, but we do have 20 current patrons and we have some higher vampires to shout out. Ben of Tamaria, who's here with us, and Jared M. Thank you so much to both of you guys. And we have a number of Leshens and Griffins and all the different tiers. And if you're interested in helping to support the show, making sure that we can keep doing this, then go to patreon.com slash Witcher Lorecast. Check out all the different tiers. You get ad-free episodes. You can get t-shirts, which I'm going to have to design some new t-shirts this month because we got to refresh for, for next year's uh, shirts. So those will be coming up soon too. Those also come out of stickers. So it's stickers for tier three, shirts for tier four and higher, and uh, a bunch of other stuff on there. Just go check it out. And we also um, appreciate when you guys leave ratings and reviews. We got this one in from Belgium. Tusty, did you know we have listeners in Belgium? You do now? Sorry, you were muted. You do now? Um, yes. Yeah. So SJS Games 14 in Belgium says, great lore cast, uh, great podcast. I started playing The Witcher 3 after watching the first season on Netflix when it came out. Interesting, right? Somebody who saw the TV show and then the games. Most of us play the games and then saw the show. Um, after the second season, I stumbled on this podcast and had listened to it since. Keep making great lore casts. Well, thanks, SJ, uh, SJS Games 14. We appreciate it. If you want to take the time to go to apple podcasts look up our show over there even if you don't listen to it on there if you want to leave us a rating review over there it still helps and we'll read it out on the future episodes of the show if you leave us five stars also you can rate us on spotify if you'd like to do that as well all right that's all we got for our reviews and our patrons this week thanks to everybody for your support we really do appreciate it let's go find out what everybody voted on here we go 
You smell of death and destiny, heroics and heartbreak. It's onion. Right, yeah. All right, we are back. And I'm sure that you guys have been thinking this over. Does, is everybody ready? Are you ready to talk about which one you're going to put first? All right. Who wants to go first with your list? Everybody's just looking. Everyone's just looking around. Nobody's unmuting yet. Uh, I can do it. Crow's ready. I got mine all set up. Crow, who is who is your number? Let's do last to first. So you can't okay, vote for so, yourself, right? So who is yeah. who is your least favorite? Okay, so top four countdown. Um, my least favorite would be the three little pigs. Three little pigs, uh, only getting one yeah. point. Definitely a bit more of like a Christmassy, I guess, vibe. But then again, I didn't really choose turkey or anything like that. But it's just very mundane. You got to be a little bit uh, adventurous with the foods that you choose. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Number then, two. Or n- yeah, number be, second least favorite. Yeah. Uh, the sand crab. Sand crab. Oh, man. I mean, right. I, I love crab legs and stuff like that, but um, not as adventurous, huh? Well, I mean, these the top three, like I did kind of have to think about it a little bit because I did like all of these answers. I already knew my least favorite was going to be the three little pigs. Um, but so then number three, I chose the basilisk. OK, because like um yeah, it kind of made me think of like more of a chicken esque type. So like, or maybe even a little bit like turkey, depending on how kind of lean the meat is. I'd say because they're not too fatty. Um, mm-hmm. And then of course, my top one would be griffin because I like the mixture of like bird meat plus game. Yeah, if you're rating things on like uh, how extreme or uh, unique these are, I think maybe griffin does sound the most kind of unique both things in one animal in ways that we don't have it in the real world sounds pretty unique pretty adventurous all right so so three little pigs sand crab basilisk griffin griffin wins out for crow who wants to go next i can go all right what are you voting kikimura I'm sorry. Kikimura <laughs> is your number f- number four on your list. Okay. Um, sand crab. Sand crab's number three. Uh, three little pigs. Three little pigs is number two, and then your number one choice basilisk. is basilisk. All right. So why I, basilisk? I'm, so the few times I've been in Florida, I've always at least tried. Uh, go and get gator at least once oh really you know what? i live in florida and, I, and have I my know. entire life and i've never eaten gator <laughs> it's i just like gator i don't know why okay I just so yeah that's that's why <laughs> yeah i've never even thought to try it I've, like most places don't it, serve honestly, it you have to go it find literally it literally right? just tastes like chicken yeah. yeah not even kidding it's in it's from a lizard right yeah okay so all right so to reiterate we have uh number four kikimura number two three sand crab number two three little pigs and number one basilisk um but you're you're positive on three little pigs i am i mean like how toasty said you can season them up in three different options like you can do one is bacon one is ham the other is pulled pork i mean you have all three options right then and there you're you're big on the pig i i like pork so yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of people do <laughs> It makes sense. Okay. All right. All right, Ben. Harley, you're up. All righty. So my last place would be the Kikimura. I, I would try it, but it's just kind of doesn't sound as appealing at first. Um, third would be the three little pigs. Okay. Um, then the sand crab. And then the griffin would probably be first. All right. All right. Because Griffin's getting a lot of love. Choices. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that choice option with the griffin, that's really what, what works for you on that one. Okay, why sand crab for second place? Well, it didn't beat out the griffin, but uh, <laughs> just I like seafood, so kind of the thought of like 
just a giant crab. It's just, you know, sounds tasty. Yeah. You have plenty of it. So. Yeah. It's not too hard to imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Toasty, you're up. All right. Well, in, in my last place, I put the Kikimura. I'm not sorry. Um, but no, specifically just uh, actually entirely for the fact, like the reason that I, I just don't like crawfish and you know, pitching it on the, if it's like going to taste like that, I'm, I'm not like, that's just not me. Um, next I put the, um, the sand crab. Um, I'm not like the huge, the biggest like seafood guy. Like I have to be in like the proper mood for it. And I think I've only had crab legs, like, I don't know, once in my life. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> then uh, honestly, I thought it was going to be the other way around until Ben started like saying his stuff. So Ben, this is your fault. Uh, for my second place, I'm putting the Griffin. Oh, Griffin. Uh, I was going to wait. Ben, ben talked first. you out of Griffin. Ben talked me out of Griffin because like, I mean, like for number one, I'm putting Basilisk because like, man, dude, like I'm like, I'm with Ben. I freaking love Gator. <laughs> It's <laughs> freaking tasty, dude. <laughs> it's really good. So, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, man. This this makes it close. This is a close one. All right, you guys. Uh, it's down to me, I guess. All right, I already put, I already put my stuff in, so I can't change it now. It's in. Last place, three little pigs. Because you freaking stole my idea. Fair. No, 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 but also I'm just not that big on the pig. Like I like pork. I like pulled pork, but I'm not so big on ham or bacon. Like, eh, pig. Eh, no, it's just not really my thing. Um, number three, it's Kikimora, because eh, also not super big on seafood. I live in Florida, but don't eat it a whole lot. Um, especially things like crab and stuff. Like I'd rather have fish than crab. Uh, so Kikimora. Number three. Number two. Are you ready? Basilisk. Because it seems really yummy, but Griffin gets number one because you can you can go either way. It's it's got so many more options. The pra- flavor profile is just so much bigger. So that means that our totals come to last place three little pigs with oh I'm sorry, last place Kiki Mora with five points second to last place three little pigs with seven points third place sand crab second place basilisk 14 points and griffin wins with 15 points yeah lorkel in chat says griffin fajitas win yes griffin fajitas win so that's it you guys you guys have now decided we have all decided that griffin is the tastiest beast in all of the continent how do you feel about this decision are we happy with this everyone's just nodding this is a podcast you can say words (laughs) though yeah i'm sorry no one wants to know like if you say oh this is kikimura everybody's gonna envision the freaking head on that thing and no one wants to go touch it that's why you take the head off before it's still it's like a fish like you don't want to like, see the head of the oh, fish on your plate out of the head off the fish. Fish. right <laughs> no you crack it open like a crab <laughs> oh jeez. and hey with when you're preparing fish fish heads is a good aesthetic okay just saying not a kiki more head <laughs> it's definitely not it's just a human head <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty mm-hmm. gross pretty gross uh robin chat says Geralt is probably a tastier beast oh man we avoided it we avoided it up until this point well you no, know, no because Geralt's not a monster so <laughs> yeah we can no. talk about that it's fine i think he means Rob, a different kind of tasty yeah but fair 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 yeah yeah well guys this was this was a lot of fun do you guys have any last thoughts on any of this any other like oh i should add this in or any like regrets with the ones you picked uh yeah i should have served up like succubus or something oh man succubus oh, is like it's almost like people there's the goat that's the, 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 it's the just, legs that's just this human so, like it's just, it's eh. just human I'll yeah at, what, maybe, at like, what point is a monster too human that it's just like there's a boundary there 
Like, I mean, like the upper half of a siren is just like a naked woman. So that's like, why I, I had the siren that. tail. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like siren tail is a good idea because I thought that I was like, I would exclude the human part because that's just that's just cannibalism or like harpy, like uh, kind of humanish, right? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you could just yeah, have but wings harpy's or something. more bird than human. But it's human like, mm. like especially the torso, right? It's just, mm. it just depends. Like you know, like it also just depends on your thoughts. That you like, I I thought about saying Sylvan, but then I was like, I don't, I don't know. No one's don't know gonna touch that. To. No, <laughs> if the creature some lamb chops or something. If the creature is sentient, like self aware, does I that does that mean that they're out to. of bounds? Probably. I mean, well, yeah, I, I would like say so. Honestly. In my opinion, I would Unless, say yes. Yeah, like generally, yeah. <clears throat> I think it'd be great to have like a good line drawn for this because, yeah, like you're saying, if it has sentience, but also like harpies don't necessarily have sentience as far as I can recollect. They're, right. pretty, but, they're pretty bestial, yeah. Like a troll, yeah, and, a vampire, a succubus. I don't know. Um, I'd eat troll. I could try it. <laughs> so trolls oh, don't count. Have- how you're telling no. me you're going to go try and that? butcher rip troll your low. teeth i guess i will no <laughs> no not, not troll a low i'm no. just saying it'd be like turtle soup but like troll soup it'd be like killing a child you just like, kill a yeah. child bro <laughs> oh no i don't know it depends don't on how answer much somebody that. pays me yeah rob Jeez. rob points out in chat the three little pigs like talk and everything does that mean that they're are they sentient enough that no. we don't cook them i don't care <laughs> Dusty's like, screw it. <laughs> no, it's fine. All right. All right. Well, I would love to hear what uh, our listeners think about this. If you guys have any thoughts on, on this, if there's, if there's one that we missed and you're like, oh no, this would totally be delicious. This is why you should have this one. Let us know. Send us a message on the discord uh, that tweeted us or if Twitter still exists <laughs> or whatever. And um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this stuff guys. Thank you. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I feel like we're, I feel like we're done with the conversation. It's a little, a little early ish, but I feel like it's time to wrap it up. Why don't we go back through and you guys feel free to share stuff you're working on things you want to, you want to put out into the world stuff you want to shout out or ways people can reach out to you. Let's start with Ben. Ben, I know you got some podcasts. I do. So I am a host on Holocron Histories, Star Wars Legends versus Canon, uh, where we take a deep dive into the Star Wars lore. And I am also one of the hosts for the Wizarding World lore cast, where we take a deep dive into the world of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World. Uh, you can find me on the Discord at Ben of Tamaria on Twitter. And then I also am on Twitch at the same Ben of Tamaria, where I live stream both of my shows on um, Tuesdays and Wednesday nights. So, all right. Very cool. Yeah. Go check out Ben's stuff. And if you need links for all that stuff, robotsradio.net has links to his shows and all the other shows on the network. So it's an easy place to find it. Crow, thanks for joining us again. You got anything new going on? Uh, yeah, no, I don't have a bunch of fancy podcasts, but, uh, I am now officially working towards the degree part of my schooling for my associates, which that's not fun because it's math. Um, <laughs> and I was supposed to have a little check ride today, actually to try to get my commercial pilot's license and we had to reschedule. So uh, it's unfortunate, but sometime around Christmas, I should have it. Cool. But well, good besides luck that, that, I am a pro felon on Discord, and that's about the only way to reach me. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us again. And then, Harley, thanks for being here. It's so happy to have you join us this week. You got anything going on you want to share? Um, Not really. Not really. Just uh, I love doing cosplay and stuff, and I'm getting into making costumes for other people. So that's something that I'm interested in. Love going to Ren Fairs and Comic Cons and stuff like that. So... Wow. Like well, this totally isn't awesome the right stuff. group for that. Yeah. No, <laughs> totally not. not. At all. <laughs> <laughs> That's I awesome. I totally don't dress up yeah. myself. <laughs> I have my biggest costume. I turn into a six and a half foot tall Witch King Ringwraith, and I'm 5'3. So that's been my best costume to date. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, you'll have to share some pictures. If, if you want to share some pictures, post them for us. We'd love yeah, to see Yeah, put them up in the Discord. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Hopefully you can join us again next month. And um, man, you guys, thank you so much for being here. This has been super fun. Toasty, you got anything you want to share? Um, yeah, I'm back from my stint on the path. Um, and uh, so, of course, follow us at the Witcher Lorecast on Twitter. Um, the check out the cyberpunk lore cast that i do with genesis um and uh the cyberpunk red actual play podcast cyberpunk cyberpunk apostrophe d um as i start getting back into like the routine of making shows and stuff so <laughs> so yeah it's been it's been a minute it's been yeah a it's minute. been a little while you've been like we, we banked a bunch of shows for most of this month and then now you're back so we'll be back to the regular schedule and it's good to see you again I'm glad everything was cool. You made he made all the money. He was working extra and made lots of money. So, you know, that's what happens when you're on the path. You kill more monsters, you make more money, usually. So, uh, well, you guys know my stuff, robotsradio.net for my other shows, all the other lore casts that I do, Fallout and Elder Scrolls and Mass Effect and Lord of the Rings. Go check that stuff out and check out all the other shows from the, the rest of everybody on the network. There's lots of good content out there. It's probably a show about something you love. So go check that stuff out. And thanks again for joining us. We'll be back next week. Same time, Monday nights, regular time. Live shows are back, all of that stuff. So come join us in the future. And chat, thank you for being here. And I'm going to wrap up this episode. And then we're rolling into Mass Effect because we've got a patron episode coming up next. So we'll do that coming up in a little bit. Thanks for being here, everybody. And until next time, stay safe on the path. I almost forgot. There we go. You almost did. See you later. <clears throat> Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Witcher Lorecast. We'd love to hear about your experiences with the games and the books and the TV series and all your thoughts on everything. Please check out the Robots Radio Discord and follow us on Twitter at Witcher Lorecast. You've been listening to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net.